Welcome back to Small Holding. So today I'm just going to do a little video um, on putting my solar power into the off-grid cabin. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to combine both my previous systems. I had this system which I built on a little frame which used to do my electric fencing for the chicken run. I don't need that anymore. The battery on it um, broke I think because the solar control charger malfunctioned. Um, so I'm going to combine this panel with this system which is what I had in my uh, compost shack for doing my automatic watering and stuff so I've got I've taken everything down um, so I've got the two panels I've got two batteries that are linked together uh, I've got the one remaining working solar con charge controller um, I've got two sets of five meter cables um, and what I have brought is the idea is I want to link these panels together um, into the the solar control charger so I brought a set of link cables the fittings on both panels they're, they're different panels different companies I bought this one probably about seven or eight years ago I've had this one a couple of years or so um, they look the same so I'm hoping they will fit these like a universal set of link um, linking cables so both your positives and both your negatives go into one um, one connector that you can then put on your five meter extension cable and i'm going to run that up just under this first uh little roof eave uh in the corner there and i'm just going to take it down into the into the cabin i'm, I'm doing this today because i'm just insulating the ceiling and i want to get the cables in before we put the next sheet of ply up so that i can see where to cut a little groove to get the cables through so that's the plan first thing i'm going to do is see if these actually fit um because like I say I'm not sure if the panels are exactly the same they look the same but I had a little search and they say that there can be some variation in fittings so fingers crossed you know I'm hoping they work but um I'll show you what I'm doing along the way obviously having the extra panel will, will boost the, the power um charge up power this I've got my 1500 watt inverter as well with a 3000 watt peak it'd be quite handy because I've been using my generator to run my power tools and a floodlight and stuff while I've been working in there so it'd be quite nice actually to get the solar power in there now because I'll, I'll be able to just use my power straight off of here rather than lugging my generator down here every day but anyway, I'm going to crack on now and I'll show you as we go along how it goes okay so I'm really pleased the um link cables worked they, they were both the same um it, it's a little bit confusing because this is red so you would assume positive, but on on the the fi the fixings the connectors, it's got a negative sign, and on the negative it's got positive, but both positives from each panel were male, and both negatives were female, so they fit, but they had the wrong markings on them. But probably just typical Chinese rubbish, I expect. Um, but anyway, they so they both fit. Um, linked up and all I've done for now is just run it up to the top of this step ladder and across and into the into the building um so what I will probably do is is put a an eight foot post or something in my, my plan eventually these are just sat on the floor for now my plan eventually is to um build just a little frame put a nice sturdy post in um concrete in the ground maybe rise them up to about eight foot and I want to have a little bracket so that in the in the summer when the sun's low it's only just over the hedge there it does get to here um the shadow comes to about 15 foot that way so I know it'll get the sun so I, I can lower them down and then in the sum, summer when the sun is almost directly up I'll be able to push them up like that on a little bracket so that's the idea is to have like a, a hinged bracket for them so but I'll get round to that you know another day i'll just add it to my list of things to do but anyway for now really happy it's actually quite deceiving the camera on this phone is quite good it makes it look like it's still daylight it's not it's actually really getting quite dusky now um so these aren't even registering um on the when, when i first plugged them in it was 0.1 of an amp input but now it's nothing um because the sun's going down but i'll just show you quickly inside so all i've done for now is just put my um Okay, that's the tripod. So I've just come in the corner there so I can put this sheet up. This has already cut this sheet to length and uh, got a bit of batten on the end, which will go into this uh, beam. 
So I just need to notch out a little bit in the corner there to let the um, cable through. So as you can see, when those solar panels are registering, it tells you down for share, but it's got a moon symbol because it's basically, um, I think it's dark now. Um, this is on and off for 12 volt output, so I can put my lights in here now. Um, but yeah, so basically, I've run it down and I'm just sitting it on the floor for now. Just me, uh, two 110 amp hour leisure batteries, just lead acid batteries. It'd be nice one day to upgrade to lithium, but they are quite pricey, so that may be a while yet. But um, for now, what it means is, is that when I'm cutting my sheets and stuff, I can just use my um, circular saw. Straight off me, me inverter. So, yeah, that's a, saved me a lot of messing about bringing the um, generator down every day so I can run my floodlight. I've got a 500 watt halogen floodlight that I've been, been using um, with my generator, but it has blown a couple of bulbs. The generator's power's quite, sort of, I don't know what you call it, but on and off, it's a bit, it flickers a bit and it blows the bulbs. So hopefully this will be a, a little bit um, more even current and we'll, we'll run it a bit better if not i'll have to get an led one but um but yeah so that's solar systems in like i say once i've sheeted it all and and planked all all this up i'll install it properly and i'll build a little box here um just to hide it all away but for now at least it's in here and i can actually use it um and it'd be interesting to see what happens with these two panels how much charge i get in i know with one panel uh the pure black panel on a sunny day i can get up to six amps but about five five and a half to six amps max. Uh, the other one used to be the same, but then it's it's played up because of that um, solar charge controller the last couple of years. You know, I didn't quite know what was going wrong, but um, I think it was the charge controller. So it'd be interesting to see what, anyway, what the two 100 watt panels links um, will actually do. But um, anyway, for now guys, that's it. Quick little installation of the solar. Um, another job done in the off-grid cabin. So, We'll see you next time, guys, with the next little project. Take it easy. See you later.